Okay, I understand the situation. A security token you found likely belongs to the freighter that crashed. Boss, have you heard from Jill and Parker yet? No, not yet. Their investigation led them out to sea. Yeah, but we lost track of the ship. That doesn't sound good. I hope they're okay. Yeah, me too. They've been out of contact too long, and I'm starting to get worried. Find a terminal at the crash site, and see what you can learn of Veltro's plans. The crash site's just up ahead. Come on! Wouldn't it be great, Grinder, if we find the key to ending this whole mission? Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. I guess that's why they call it the Midnight Sun. When we last left off, we were playing as these two idiots. And we finally found our key token. But now we have to go back to a uh, computer and put said co uh, token. <laughs> token into said computer and see what happens right we don't have a huge amount of equipment here either which yeah it's not fantastic but we'll make do oh god wow we heard you like dogs apparently yeah unfortunately our buddy quint here does leave us in the dust for some reason not sure why he goes off and leaves us to fight. Kind of a dick move, if you ask me. Again, leads more into the fact that these are more comedy characters than actual fully properly trained government agents. Just really doesn't make sense. And man, I tell you what, if this is what the wolves are like, oof, we're going to be really in for some fun when the hunters join the party. Oh, good God. Really? Man. That was incredibly rough. So, we're now herbless. Yeah, I don't want to burn through all of our assault rifle ammo because we're going to be needing that. Shotgun in this game is ugh, not good. It's really not good. Um, but I think that's more of a difficulty thing. Well, no, because even on uh, like medium difficulty... Um, the shotgun in this game just genuinely isn't fantastic at all. It's kind of strange. Anyway, we should be using this a lot more because I do think there's more items on this difficulty. Come on, grinder. What you doing? Trying to survive, unlike you, you absolute piece of shit. Yo, calm down. What's wrong with you? Something... I don't know. It's like something hit me. What? Look, I just got hit. It was the Invisible Man or something. I'm sure yeah, of it. Yeah, this is... For real? This is going to get rough. It now I get what on the security feed. Yep. That was the ghost. It's a new type of hunter. It is. For the and these guys absolutely suck. I have literally no idea what Capcom were thinking with these guys. What do we do to make hunters more interesting or badass? At least these um, aquatic type hunters, anyway. Yeah, this blows all right. Unfortunately, there's more than a couple of them here to fight, but we're just gonna keep keep handling them the best we can. Well, if you could make him go down a little bit quicker. I'd appreciate it. Now you can see their footsteps. Ow. Literally just see their footsteps. 
it's not super obvious, but it is that. Oh, right, we're out of ammo. Start as you mean to go on, I guess. Yep, this is not gonna go well at all for us. Oh, Jesus, yeah, we're gonna have to. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, see the unseen with Genesis. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, at least the game is good enough to start off with. Back here. Wrong? I'm wondering if we're like better off what? coming what? down here. Yeah. Let's grab some shotgun shells. For real? Here we go. Here we go. Thanks for the explanation. Yeah, they certainly make these guys a little bit harder. Now, they're quite easy to knock down, to be fair, with this shotgun. But the trouble is, as we've said before, the shotgun just doesn't do any damage. And that's not what you want from your shotgun in a Resident Evil game. You want your shotgun to do maximum damage. Yeah. This blows. Yeah, no shit. This could be a bit of a bottleneck, actually. We're dead. Nope, we're not quite dead. But we soon will be. I have no idea where they are. <laughs> Might have to start getting the grenades out. Yeah, this is going to be a really shitty um, checkpoint as well. Because we've got to wait for him to go through the motions each time. Okay. Yo, calm down. What's wrong with you? Uh, he's just like tripping. He's what? tripping. He's cool. Look, I just got hit. It was the invisible man or something. Yeah, it's not the Invisible Man. Right, once more we're feeling. Now, the trouble with these guys as well is it's not like there's one or two of them. They really throw them at you all over. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully... Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, right, got him, luckily enough. I think, yeah, we're going to go down. Need to kill you, if we can. He's still not dead. He's still not dead. He took, wow. Okay. Definitely took too many shotgun shells. Yeah, I wouldn't get too excited. No. None of us can see him, dude. That is the mystery. Uh, reload, please. Thank you. Now, if we can just scrape through here. Kind of feel like it would be a bit of a Christmas miracle. Right, how are we doing? We're good. Whew. Yeah. That was rough. And it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, I can tell you that much. You really can't hold a lot of ammo, can you? There is a... I think we read this as Chris, didn't we? Handling the new prototype. There'll be a new prototype introduced on this mission. All mission persist, um, precipitant. Yeah, can't speak today. Uh, are urged to use extreme caution when handling the special prototype. All instructions by the handler must be followed to the letter. In the event of an emergency, follow the con uh, contingency guidelines in the hazards and emergencies manual. 
once the prototype abilities have been activated, it will be impossible to control them. The prescribed sedatives must be administered every hour during transport. While it is possible to control the special prototype, its behavior in the field cannot be accurately predicted. When in control, uh, when control is no longer viable, please contact HQ on the dedicated line. <laughs> yeah, uh, the participants. There we go. Um, yeah, well, I guess we're going to have to take a phone call if they get out of hand. Whoever did this wasn't human. Yeah, no shit. All right. I think these bits are actually going to, oh, these bits are going to be rougher than I, I'm giving them credit for, I think. Hand grenade. Hand grenades are cool, but. I mean, they're good at, like, blasting enemies over, but that's pretty much it. Now, there is... Another bucket of goo over here. Looks like, luckily, there are a lot of items to find with the Genesis. So, you know, small mercies. The handgun... Uh, I don't think the handgun is kind of as useless as you would think. You did not, cat. My cat is going crazy. Probably hear him. Alright, another herb. What else we got? I would say the only genuinely useless weapon that we have at the moment is the shotgun. And that really does feel beyond useless. And I think what helps the shotgun feel super, super useless is just the minuscule amount of ammo that you actually get for it as well. So we've got two herbs, could be worse. And my cat is jumping up on my computer, which she knows she's not allowed to do. Uh, last time he jumped up on my computer, uh, I was mid uh, recording and he actually hit the power switch. Oh, I see, it's Leo. Leo's too stupid to open the door. Milo can open the door and let him out, let himself out. Leo can't. He's too thick. Now Leo is actually the bigger, the fatter of the two, quite significantly. So why he can't let himself out, I have no idea. Right. Doesn't look like we've got any goodies down here. Ah, good. More goodies. Yeah, really are limited with how much um, gear we can hold, aren't we? Oh well, that's all we have. Okay, everything appears to be in working order. Yo, Quinn, time to do your job. I do remember kind of really liking these two. I can't find the call log. I don't know why. I mean, they're okay. You're good with machines. The ladies, on the other hand. <laughs> Grinder! Uh, what's going on? We need to contact HQ ASAP. HQ here. O'Brien speaking. What's? This is Jackass. I got the coordinates on the ship. I'm sending them now. Good work. That's music to my ears. Nice one. Getting the coordinates like that. Well, I could have calculated travel time, last known route, but that would have taken too long. That's why I said, nice one. You don't understand. I didn't calculate anything. We're not the only ones looking for that ship. Hmm. But what are you talking about? You're saying Veltro ran from their own hideout, and now they're looking for their own ship? That's what I'm saying. Doesn't but make I have sense. no idea if any of the info I gleaned is for real or not. Great. So we have no idea really who we're up against. Exactly. And that's a piece of the puzzle we really need. Chris here. I received the coordinates. That's not far. We can be there in no time. Brian, we're on our way. God, I hate Jessica. Hey. Okay. 
although that was kind of a tough bit, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. The hardest bit with those two is yet to come. Still, I'm happy with an A rank. I mean, I didn't really have any choice. I kind of have to be happy with it. It's the rank we got. Anyway, let's go. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Ugh. We don't need to catch up every 30 seconds. Right, so I think this is literally halfway, because I'm sure there's 12 episodes. Cat and mouse. <clears throat> Mediterranean Sea. This one is going to be difficult. And there's Jess wearing half a half of a wetsuit. Anywhere. Let's get started. For some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I guess I should be pointing fingers, should I, Jess? <laughs> Chris, is, Chris is ready for a party. A party of one, I think. Okay. <laughs> Actually, pretty sure... There is supposed to be a handprint up here, I think. Possibly, but we may already have it. Wouldn't it be like really awkward if we're on the wrong ship or something? I mean, <laughs> what's what's the chances of that, eh? The wrong ship. Not the time, i got to find those two first. Yeah, this is a bit of a gauntlet, I think. There's probably going to be even more of a gauntlet on this difficulty. Uh, which I fully expect it to be. Machine gun ammo. Nice. So we can't use that. I'm going to start noticing some inconsistencies with this ship. We capture them and interrogate them. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what we'll do. We'll catch him and we'll interrogate him. Sure, Chris. Nice plan. Good old Chris. Always comes with a plan. Okay. We are just... Ow. I was going to say, we're just going to move. Kinda. Come on. Yeah. Really don't want to fight these guys. We might die here, actually. There we go. Yeah, we could be in for some chop. Or, you know, we could just cut through here, I suppose. Unfortunately, wasted that herb, but that's fine the worst that could happen. Hey, we got a pulse grenade. I don't know if these guys can follow us. Probably. It's not a huge deal, though. They should be able to follow us. They just don't appear to be. Which is curious. Right. Alright, Jessica. How's it going? Are we winning? We should be winning. Yeah, that's weird. They should be following us, but they're not. Oh well, whatever. We don't need to fight them. Oh, I'm sure Jill and Parker are fine. Probably a little bit wet, but apart from that, they're fine. Pretty sure, yep. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's something down here. Only a grenade, but we'll take it. 
Right, let's go. Literally got to go on an adventure all the way through the ship. Okay, back through the loading door. Keep up, Jess. So easy to make your characters jib out. Hey, dude. Any idea where we can find Parker and Jill? Jessica? Um, yeah, uh, hold on. <laughs> Judging by the ship's condition, I believe there's a problem with the engines. I'd wager they're in the ship's fields trying to get them going again. I like Makes sense. We'll head down there now. I like the way he puts on like a deeper voice for like 30 seconds. And then like instantly forgets that he's put on a deeper voice. Like on the next line of dialogue. It's... Uh, it's... Odd. Really odd. But hey, whatever I guess. Now, let's keep examining things. Let's keep going up. Ah, okay, we can't go up. I did wonder. Makes sense, I guess. Right, and we obviously can't go through there. So, we've got to go through the casino. Remember the casino? You know, the one that we've totally been in before. I remember that casino. So... Let's have a little look. Be awful if there's uh, more of those comms officers in there. Maybe even more than one. That would be stupid, wouldn't it? Be silly, even. I can hear a door banging. Okay, right. Jessica, don't do anything stupid yet. Not until we've completely explored uh, a decoy. That doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Let's have a decoy. Definitely doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Because I'm not being funny, guys, but I don't think that's uh, Santa Claus. Wanting to come through there. Just uh, just speculation, of course. Uh, machine gun ammo is full up, apparently. Won't budge an inch. Really? Even with Chris St. Boulder Puncher? Okay. <clears throat> right. This could get a little bit uncomfortable. I'm fully expecting this to be very uncomfortable. Now's not the time for that. Yeah, we're, we're trying to pick up the item, Chris. Oh, no. We've scanned an item in another room. Yeah, I think there is something in there. Yeah. Curious, eh? Who would have thunk it? Alright, well. Let me just unload everything I have. Oh, good. Good. Okay, trying to get the dodge right there. Didn't work. I think we're in for some chop. You don't want to get sandwiched by two of those. Because you're gonna have a bad time. <clears throat> Alright, let's try that again. Definitely don't want to get sandwiched by both of those. I should be able to dodge most of these attacks. Like way back in the day. Yep, well done. Let's see if we can get some points. Oh yeah, it isn't just them either. Oh dear, that's the infinite uh, infinite? That's the one hit kill attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Apparently, there is a very short window of avoiding that. Um, but you get an achievement if you manage to avoid it. And I've never got that achievement. So I'm going to say uh, I probably never did. Okay. What the hell is the grenade button? Uh, should we just figure it out? It's more fun to just figure it out, isn't it? 
Well, here we go. No, not that, not that, not that, not, not that, that's not that, not that. Not that, not that, not that. There we go. I think it's G. Not 100% sure. Might be G. Unfortunately, we have these deliciously ineffective weapons. Did I say unfortunately? I meant, of course, that just adds to the fun. Yeah, you can literally see the, the handgun in its all its useless glory. See, the button that should be grenade is... Um, not grenade. It is um, Genesis device, which is really curious. So, let's just keep working these guys over. That's it, Jess. Keep, keep dancing. Keep dancing. So this is much more of a fair test to uh, experiencing... Oh, hi. Hello. How to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, this is bad. This is very bad. Uh, we're mashing the button. Right. Now let's see what we can do. Hopefully can do something. I'm not super convinced. But we've got him to take a knee a couple of times. Right, I think one's dead. I think. Yeah, one is dead. So, that has increased our chances. Oh, they're both dead. Alright. That uh, could have been worse. I mean, it was pretty, pretty bad, but it definitely could have been worse. All right. So, what was through there? Yeah, that's a much fairer test. Um on how, the, how strong those enemies potentially should be. Although I don't think they're, those two are actually as strong as um, the first boss that you encounter are. But the fact that there's two of them probably makes up for it. Okay. So again, you know, it's, yeah, it's I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's not... It hasn't been super hard. I think the final enemy, the the last boss, I think he's going to be... Uh, challenging. Right. But it's already infected the ship. And Jill and Parker had a welcome party waiting for them. Mm-hmm. Because he's quite a challenge on normal. At least... Oh, hi, guys. Hello. This could be bad. Again. No, it was all right. <laughs> what do you mean, no target found? 1%. Pointless. Is it even worth scanning these things? I'm going to say yes. Because I guess having something is better than nothing. Oh. Really? Boy, what? Eh? Not sure what that was about, but okay. Right, this could be uh, fun. It's like we've got a bloater through there, but the hit detection is awful, so... Okay, I have no idea what's going on with that. Apparently sometimes when I use the Genesis... Gunfires. 
Right, let's get this guy coming towards us. But Jess, you got a P90. Okay. You're probably better equipped. Look, she's just standing there doing nothing. That's the Jessica we love. Did we say love? Did we say that out loud? That's the Jessica we tolerate because we literally have no choice. Oh, okay. She just... Oh, my good God. Well, there's a couple of them. Hopefully, that chain reaction is going to at least damage them. Oh, I actually did more than that. Cool. <sighs> right. I might actually start using a control pad. Because this is kind of doing my head in. Mouse and keyboard controls. Mouse and keyboard for this game is ass. From the sensitivity to just the buttons being all over the keyboard. Yeah, just ass. Item found, eh? I thought that was going to be a hunk of meat that we could... Oh no, there is a hunk of meat there. There's a hunk of worthless meat. Right, cool. I mean, it's kind of bizarre because the port itself is okay. It does run really well. It's very well. Uh, I would say optimised, but I guess how much do you really need to optimise a game that was designed to work on a really pathetic, anemic ARM processor? <laughs> I mean, x86 is significantly faster than an ARM CPU. But, you know, the the gap is closing. But, God, back when this came out, x86 versus ARM, oof. Right, we can actually go through here. I'm guessing we can't go downstairs. Oh, we can. Oh, that's fine. There might have been a couple of goodies down there, but I doubt there would have been much. Somebody! Anybody! I'll be at your service! Forever! Don't give up, Parker. Hmm, you noticing something with the ship? This doesn't appear to be a lot of water dribbling out anywhere. Yeah, all this work, eh? Yeah, let's not save our friends because they're our friends, hey. Let's just save them to see what we can get out of it. Hmm, remembering the ship that Jill's on? There was uh, ammo pouches there. Doesn't appear to be a lot of water here at all, does there, for a ship that's flooding? Very bizarre. In fact, there seems to be less water here than there was when we first arrived. It won't move. Well, I guess we're going to the engine room. Oh, hey guys. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. You know what? Yeah, uh, oh god. You have fun, uh, Jessifer. Jessifer. Oh, I played myself. Wrong game. We are. Oh, hi. It's alright, we don't need to keep shooting. There's ammo and stuff in there that we don't need. Yeah, that's right. Keep taking those hits, Jess. You're, you're, you're 
dancing in the wind there. Your sacrifice shall be remembered, or something. The there. Hurry! We're hurrying. Nobody here. Nobody home. Where'd you go? Jill. <gasps> Get an A for dying twice. Damn. Still, I'll take it. Anyway, we're going to have to leave it there because, damn, son. Um... You're on like 36 minutes somehow. I don't know how we're on 36 minutes, but we are. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.